welcome back our new tutorial series that what the f it is that is the for this video that is the scroll box and what is the scroll box so the scroll box is basically a list uh, a list of box that where you find or you can display a tons of list and you can scroll it okay like for example you have tons of item list and then you can basically find a button like how we find stuff in the google page for example if i give you an example that is kind of like this creating um just suppose like this a scroll box that you can scroll it okay you find that simple system so for creating that you can start scroll and here you find this scale box but you are going to use the scroll box and here the the first the main thing is you need to create that is a variable so you can use that so just simply press on yes is a variable then you need to set up the size the size is basically very mandatory so keep it in mind put a size so for example i'm going to put 450 by 900 also you can make this scroll box to horizontal to vertical currently that is vertical if you want you can switch that to horizontal so it will become something like this so in my case i'm going to use the vertical the second option is basically you can uh, set the thickness of the scroll box for example here you find also one more thing show always the scroll box so you find here the scroll box the bar basically so if you want you can set the value more so you can get the more as you want so i'm going to leave it uh to a uh, nine and also you can disable that if you want it depends on you if it's mandatory need the scroll box that time it can become otherwise it will be never show it's on you then second you can use the animated uh, wheel scrolling so it's mean that once it's scrolling it will be play a simple animation with that so it will be look more smooth so once you do this thing the the next is basically to set up items on inside of this this is a basically a scroll box so now you want to put a item or like for example you have number of uh the items you want to display the inventory whatever you have so how you can do that so for that you need to create a one more ui that is the widget class and that is simple uh, simple that is the widget and you can give it name that list I'm giving it my case uh, list it's not mandatory in your case you can give whatever you want you need to add a canvas panel and at there remember the your size whatever you give at here the size is very very matter so keep it in mind that whatever size you give make sure that is under that so in my case that is 450 make sure it's have the age of like this and then at here at the x i'm going to, to uh, set the value to 400 and 400 and i'm going to give the y to 50 then you can choose it any color whatever you want for example something like this and then you can put any in, uh, value inside of that so for example this kind of like text and set it to just give it name that item and item zero okay so uh, like this you can put anything once you give it something like that here you find the fill screen option set that to custom and then choose your value how much you want so in my case i'm going to give maximum 400 and the height is basically to 50. now once you give it something like that now you can if you want you can get a preview how it's working on the ui so forget that you can you need to go to even graph at the even graph you can remove this uh two thing that even construct make sure you find here the even pre-construct this is work like even construct how we use in our actor class that it will be work in real time editor so here we can use a for loop so it will be execute that system for us and i'm going to put here the value to one so at here let me give the value to 25 then simply connect with that then we need to create the widget so create the widget now this part is to add value to this list so we're going to connect our this list with this one so simply search here that your list something like that and then you can add return value to add to and here you don't need to add to viewport what you need to do you need to get your scroll box at here so remember you don't find this thing at your variable lists if you didn't set is uh, it to as a variable once you set it like that if you need to write here from that add child so the child is basically this is the father and this is the child so you are basically adding your all child inside of your father okay that his father so yeah so compile save 
and here once you save it you find something like this preview system even if here from here you can't even uh, choose it but i guess if you choose to lock mode i guess they should give you an option to scroll it uh no unfortunately they don't give you to scroll from here but yeah if you create that as a ui so if you click on play you find option to basically select now forget the option to and get the touch enable at here what you can do whenever your widget is creating you can write a simple code that get player controller then you can search show mouse cursor and simply connect with this and simply set to show the mouse cursor now compile save and now if you scroll it as you can see you find a scroll is now you see that it doesn't have any gap so if you want to make uh, give a gap between these items what you can do you can make it something bigger for example something like this 55 make sure you also need to uh, have the nfa space in the right side also and here i'm going to give it value 400 again and i'm just making it to some bigger that to 80 and 400 once you set up it like this now you can choose your this one and make it some central something like that so you find both at upside that a nfa space so compile save and if you go to your ui you find something a space something like that now suppose you want to add values inside of this list how how you can add so make sure for adding any value inside of your child you need you can you need to create a, it's a variable for example i want to display my item name so i'm going to uh, create this as a variable and then at here we need to set asset tags so set as a tags and then you can you need to connect something like this and from that you need to convert to a string and then you need to create a variable you can give it name that item name ah uh, name you okay whatever then set it to instant editable and exposed on form then compile and save now you need to go to the ui and just select this ui and give a refresh here you find that item name so now for individually every of item with the loop you can add a value so it's mean that if you create a tons of uh, element array for example I, let me create a variable that which contain uh or a array which contain basically the item name so item item name and then if you create something like this a string and you set it to a array now you can get that array and from there you can you can write for each loop and with that each loop you can basically run you will get the element you can connect that element you can add the loop body so for every loop body and every index it will be get that value so compile and save now you can add some elements at here so for example sajad then shakur that is my oh sorry shakur ashik yeah. okay that is my friend name so now if i click on play as you can see sajad shakur and ashik has been come at here so it depends on your loop and it will be get that uh, area uh, element and it will be individually add one by one and it will send that data to the widget class and once the widget class has been get the data it will be add to your scroll box so that is the basically the logic between this one now suppose what you want that if you want to clear that data like if you check that it's coming every time and you are trying to load up okay for example if i press here that k keyboard by default like maybe i can't get let's see if we'll yeah we can get wow that's so nice so for example if i press e keyboard i want to load the data okay so for example e loading e loading as you can see now it's basically loading one by one but it's not even deleted my the old one so for giving make the refresh system what you need to do from the scroll box you need to just write that clear the children so before do the execution you need to basically clear your scroll box so it will be first clear that data then it will be going to be add so for example if i press now the e as you can see it's add if i press second time it will be first create uh, deleting and removing and clearing the scroll box and once it's done then it's basically adding that data to our scroll box so that is the basically logic and between different difference so i hope you understand and if you have any question you can comment us in our comment box and now before last thing i'm going to give you example like if you want to call back that system that if it have successfully worked at here now suppose you give here a button so now how you will 
get a callable how you can make a callable function at here like it can be you can call that okay so before do that what you need to do you need to make that to your you know canvas panel and set it something like this and now you suppose you give that accept or you make that a pick okay now you just make suppose you make the pick system something like that with pick now you want to execute that whenever you press this button it should be work how you can do that right now so you can go to your ui or even you can from your player you can make it something like this so you can make the callable function for example because this is a widget you can now call back your character for example get all actor from class and i'm going to call my bp third person bp third person and i'm going to get a copy and then from that i'm going to call my jump function so it will be jump so whenever i press my this button it will be call back my system so now if i click on uh play uh oh yeah i forget to add uh yeah so simple e so i have load up my data so if i click as you can see it's working from here so this is the way to call back the system even if you have any function so i hope you understand so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next tutorial video